Ah, the Vikings have come. They're invading on their longboats to invade London. Uh, so we are here with another Thrones of Britannia siege battle for you today. And we have an invasion from the sea along with from the land. We have two Norse factions against a Mercian and a uh, East Angle uh, force. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, beach defense, you could say. Against a very strong Norse army. We've got some very elite units here. Got a, look at this triple gold chevron. Insanely, insanely good. Definitely probably uh, are going to do a lot of damage to these guys. But I do like the uh, the boats. Like in uh, Thrones. They are excellent. So I mean, um, this is... I do take part in this one. It is a, a quick little siege battle. I thought I'd show you get this one off. Since you guys enjoyed the last Thrones siege battle. Um, with the Welsh in. I thought off, I showed another one off that we did. But, I mean, these shield walls look epic, in fairness. Hold the line. I mean, there's actually, this is not a very good shield wall. There's holes in this shield wall. That would fall instantly. One chink in the armor and that shield wall's gone. Um, I'm quickly trying to get troops to the beach to try and hold them at bay. Uh, I think I'm going to be a little bit too late, to be honest. But, I mean, I'm forming shield walls on the beach. This looks really cool, actually. Or me shield wall. There's the Thanes. They do look cool. But yeah, you can see the ever so slowly getting around this flank here. So this was my first mistake when uh, when defending. We've now got some male Tuskars that are going to be flanking on the side here. We've also got... Yeah, I've nearly got enough boats here on, like, contained all of them. But yeah, you can see here, look at this. I was so annoyed when I saw what happened. I was like, no, that's frustrating. And the first engagement begins. It's this tiny little corner here. And they're slowly just getting off and they're going to attack. But I hope you guys have been enjoying all the content at the moment uh, in this uh, lockdown. Still, what, still for us. We're slowly... Uh, everything's being opened again. But I uh, hope you're all being entertained and I hope you're all doing well. And please do, if you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and uh, drop a comment to show your support. So here we go. We've got... a. Uh, some male Tersier swords against some Thanes. These Thanes are not doing so well. They're getting absolutely messed up by these gold chevron guys. And then on the far side, looks like uh, the other Norse army is just about to arrive. And East Engel will be uh, engaged as well. Desperately trying to fight off. Like, these Thanes are like desperately trying to hold back these male Tersier. But they're getting cut down. Absolutely cut down. Look at that fight in the distance. So many... Like shields and just like swords waving in the air. Chop them down. You can see, uh, I don't know who this is actually. Oh, this is Thanes breaking. We've now got some royal Thanes up here to hold the line. These guys should hold a little bit better. These guys are actually even in combat. That's good to see. Now I've got arrows coming in. Where are those archers, actually? Oh, they're here. That's very... No, bad angle, actually. These archers are so weak in this game, I think. They're literally firing, like, up and straight back down into there. The blood splatters are very nice. Hopefully getting some kills. On this side, I'm now trying to set up a flank. So, uh, I think I did it here. We've now got some, uh, we've got some mailed long axemen trying to flank around. But you can see these archers here. On the boats, just firing into the back of these uh, axemen who've got no shield protection, so they will uh, be absolutely mowed down. Oh, but, um, this unit isn't doing so well. It's uh, sustaining casualties. It's slowly losing men from this flank. And now I've got another unit here, male thanes, getting ready. I think I'm going to send them in. But I'm already running out of uh, reserves. Men are already breaking and running. We're in some real issues here. I've got Earl Spearman coming up. Yeah, we're in a real issue, a real pickle here. Well, I am now holding back the other part of the uh, Norse army that landed over here. With another spear unit here, holding the line. And we've got a catapult all the way back here as well. And this little island, this is really cool. This is the main capture point, this is. And I've got some more units here. More little spearmen, I'm setting up more male Thanes. And I've got East Engels cavalry coming in. We've got male Dane Lord cavalry in here. Trying to mow these guys down. Trying to get some good charges. Whether that will work, who knows. Here comes another charge. That one's not, not a bad charge at all. Just trying to rout these guys. 
But as you can hear, a lot of men routing for Mercia. Norse is just so strong. Um, really should have probably put a ban on Norse. But as you can see here, this unit's going to get surrounded. These uh, Royal Thanes going to get surrounded. Cut down. And more Norsemen are landing. Just so many Norsemen. And this unit's really elite as well. I presume this is like a Champions. Or oh, Yom's Vikings, of course. Actually losing quite a lot. Oh, losing decisively, apparently. Yeah, you can see the archers cleared off these uh, mailed long axemen. This having to redeploy to not get shot in the back, basically. But there's so many Yom's Vikings landing now. Hold the line, Thanes, for Mercia, for a Saxon kind, and for and for God, I guess. We don't want these heathens to uh, take England from us. Well, check out on the other side. I'm sure East Engle is now engaged. Yep, he's starting to get engaged. The first clashes are starting to begin. What we've we got here, we've got some Danelaw spears holding the line against Yom's Vikings. Uh, yeah, these I don't imagine these spears are going to hold very long. There's another line ready for them. They should, if they can form shield wall, I'd form shield wall. I can hear just archers firing desperately. I think that's actually uh, the Danes. They've got their own mailed archers over here. They've, rout they've routed some, I think, as well. Of um Yeah, it looks like they've routed some mailed archers. They've got great axes over here. Looks like Mercy's doing... Not Mercy. Um, East Engel's doing a lot better job of holding the line. He's now actually having to gauge over here as well. Oh, no, this is uh, Mercia. Earl Spearman. Hold the line, men. I think that might be, yeah, you can see here, oh, I don't know why that's here, but I mean, it's not looking good on the beaches, put it like that. These mailed hearse here though, it's like, they've hardly lost any men since our first engagement on the beach. They're like, we're on 86, they've lost another four since they've arrived here. Being held back by a tiny unit of spears. There's now archers holding them back, like, having to be sent in soon. I mean, it looks like the Yom's Vikings beat everything over here. Yeah, this flank was just massacred. I think the cavalry's gone. We're now onto like... Oh, this is some male Danes here holding against some Yom's Vikings. They might beat these guys. They're pretty... They're exhausted. Uh, they're pretty beaten up already. These uh, male Danes are fresh. And they're fairly fresh in numbers. I'm just kind of interested to see where the uh, catapult might fire. Has it been firing? My, oh, it looks like it's out of ammo. Is it already fired? Oh, we missed the catapult. I don't think it got much. I think it hit these guys over here and this was it. So nothing uh, epic in comparison to some of the battles that we've seen. Got mailed hearse here, here holding the back of these spears. These spears are losing. All they need to do is just send a unit in behind these spears and they've uh, beaten them back. But they are slowly getting cut down on these spears. Spears are just not going to hold the line here. Especially against, like, however many silver chevron hearses. Three silvers. I think the chevrons basically was a bit too overpowering. You can see here I'm now breaking as we, uh, as we fall back even further. I've got archers here firing to the back of this uh, tiny unit of, what is this? Mailed hearse, hearse here. here. Trying to just chop these guys down. I don't even know what I've got left. Not much, put it like that. I think I've got uh, archers, and that's about it. I think my general has fallen somewhere. There you go, the general has fallen. He f oh, he just fell on the battlefield there. He was the last unit standing on the beach. What a brave man. What a brave man. And now the Norse uh, army that has landed here has basically got free reign of this side and can just basically start his attack uh, against East Engel, who's sending up a unit of Danelaw male swordsmen. is a bit suicidal. Uh, definitely should send them back. No need for these guys to come up. 
Should certainly get ready and prepare for this final defense. But already over here is a massive break by East Engel. And the Norse are through. They need to send up more troops here. Deal with this. They've got plenty of reserves here. Not plenty. There's definitely not plenty of anything. Armored Archer's getting focused down. Like, this unit's going in here. We've got some Jarls for Skiles going in. Chopping heads off. Just love watching them as they wield their huge war axes and just chop them down. It's excellent. Got archers being sent in. It's that desperate already. If they can take out this general, that might help. But um, it's very unlikely. Look at this. It's like a couple of the general units. Just gonna go and burn it. Do love that. Do love that ability. There you go. Let's go and burn this uh, to the ground. And there it goes up in flames, just like that. I'm sure some more will break off from over here or something like that. They'll go and burn more stuff down. It's actually this... Oh, it's not already on fire. But look at this. East Angle's now having to hold here. What's this? Sword Hearse here. Holding the line against... Uh, axe Hearse here, isn't it? Or what? Mailed Axe Warrior? I don't know. The units all look very similar. Mailed Hearse here, Axeman. I was kind of right. I kind of combined all three t uh, together. Yeah, the Norse are one of the, by far one of the strongest factions in this game, I think, along with Wessex. Um, and maybe, maybe the Normans. The Normans are pretty strong. I do like playing with them. They've not got masses of uh, infantry. They've not got the biggest roster generally, to be honest. Um, it's pretty lacking, but they are like a late game sort of uh, unit or faction. Oh, they've actually surrounded um, some units over here. This is very good. They've got some... Uh, well, they've been surrounding themselves, I think. Got some shield biters in. There's literally two of them left. Jeez. I think that's one of them here. With his furs on. He's just died. Oh. Here's the other one. Oh, no. These are these are Huskals. Well, look at that. With the flames in the background. That's epic. Very epic. Trying to hold Deshri back. I don't know what they've got to do over here. Oh, they're hol holding with uh, some Danelaw swords. Against, like, the other Norse army. Look at this, though. This Mercy unit is still holding out over here. Combat even. It's surrounding. It's going to route these Joms Vikings. And it might route these, uh... Mailed Hersir. Come on, for mercy. Take as many men down with you as possible. You didn't do too great on the uh, beaches. They do look good, though. I mean, they've got the white shields. That's pretty cool. Are they white? They look white. Or light grey. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They might route those two units. It's not big. It's a small victory at this point. Like, look at the balance of power. Massively not in their favour. And here comes some more troops. Got Yom's Vikings coming in. So many Yom's Vikings. I think we limited the uh, everyone to like four of any unit, so you couldn't just spam out Yom's Vikings. Chop them down. Take as many with you as possible. This thin blue line. It's not going to hold back the uh, Norseman for long. It is very thin right now. Why has no one set these uh, houses alight? That's just poor from you Vikings. You're just not very good Vikings. You're not setting everything alight. They're not even coming through here now. They've kind of left this unoccupied. East Angle's kind of like free to do whatever here. But it doesn't really matter because the Norse is just going to power through here. They certainly could like get around here if they wanted to there's nothing stopping them and I think they're about to do just that yep here you come 
Sword her saying, Warlords Champions, I'm going to come up now. What's this? And there's that Danelaw Mailed Swords is back. Just about to break again, though. It's just desperation now from East Engle, or East Anglia, as they really truly are. And then this is worrying as well. Look at this. Imagine being one of these guys and just seeing all these Norsemen appear. They're pretty tired, but yeah, here they come. A charge. Oh, that is scary as hell. It has been badly destroyed. There is a lot of burning going on. Stop them. Stop the heathen Vikings. The heathen Norsemen. And yeah, now these Saxons are all squished together. all sandwiched in. They're getting around here as well. They're trying to like break their way through. I, think, I don't know what... What's been doing if it's the attack orders or what, but they keep pushing in. Then on this side, the river's about to fall. They're slowly being pushed back across the bridge. They started like so much further up, and they're slowly being pushed back on this bridge. They're, they're holding a lot better there. Um, same on this side, holding just quite nicely. It's just over here. This is not looking so good. The general might die here for uh, East Engle. He's actually wavering. He's just surrounded by Norsemen. I think any man would uh, waver. But you might as well fight to the death because they won't spare you. These are Norsemen. They're heathens. And there you go. I think it's a mass route, I think, from both units. And they're being cut down. Yeah, the general, Allies General has fallen. And that's kind of it. That is kind of it. There's some male so Hersa here. They've just broken those Danelaw spears. That's not so good. There's actually not many Vikings left. We've done a good job on killing them. We nearly killed this side off. Um, this side is looking a lot more fresh, I guess. There's a big blob here. But um, I'm just going to fast forward now because we are getting close to the end of the battle. Just watch as these Vikings chop away at them. Hold the line. Hold the bridge one last time. Just before you get surrounded. Kill them all. They, like, they've just given up even shouting at each other. It's like, ugh. They're so tired, all these men. Look at this. They're surrounding them now on the walls. And there you go. A Pyrrhic victory. I think everything just broke. Like that, the general is so done. But yeah, so I played along with uh, Killian. We were uh, the defenders. Um, I certainly did not kill that many men. I was the only one to get a thousand. I just was out of position on that uh, on that beach. I had decided that I was going to hold uh, in the streets, but then when uh, the suggestion for holding on the beaches and like cut them as they came down came up, I was like, yeah, let's try it. But uh, no, I mean, I was facing Aiden, and Aiden did a very good job. Um, and then we had Jeff died in a cabin. What a poor guy, poor Jeff. Um, but yeah, there are all the uh, stats, so if you want to have a look at them. Got 111 there for one, 218, another, some of the best there. Then Jeff and Cabin, um, didn't get anything, uh, 136 probably is best there. Um, and then Pope John Paul, uh, as myself, obviously, um, I got 100, I think, here with some Royal Thanes. I think that's the highest I ever got. Killian, um, 97, 138 there with some, uh, with a unit, what's this? Shield Biters. Uh, yeah, no, to be fair, they're like a berserk unit, so no surprise they did quite well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that is where we're going to wrap up today's uh, battle. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you want to uh, see more Thrones of Britannia, and a comment to support the channel as well. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.